Another few of the universe, this is the Hoovian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video, as you can see, we are once again inside of Minecraft Communities. So yeah, uh, today we are going to be continuing building what we did in the last episode. But in the last episode, like, I forgot to press record. So let me explain uh, what you missed. So we're building a radio station. There's a weird little house there that says Dr. Romy's house on it. So for now, I'm just going to leave it there. And yeah, essentially what we did was we just built the exterior, or at least part of the exterior of the radio thing. So yeah, I do apologize about that, but let's just jump up here. Oh no, I missed. I was getting easy for a while, but now I've just missed, and now I've just fell out the side. Um, <laughs> off to a good start then. Um, so let's hop over here to feed the dogs. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be continuing building the radio station that we did in the last episode, but obviously the last episode that wasn't recorded. And then I was going to destroy it all, and obviously build it all again. Um, like in a video, for the video. But then I realised most of the time... <coughs> sorry. Um, most of the time in a video, when I sound excited, sort of like I do now, normally it's because I am actually excited to be building it. Uh, because obviously, like, I find it fun. I love doing these videos. But when I've already done a video of the same thing, then it suddenly becomes like more like a chore rather than just a bit of fun. So yeah, I don't really want to do that. Like uh, I was thinking about just redoing it and I need something to eat as well. Um, so let's take Lello with us. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's like you're not going to go and have a baby with the other dogs, no. Uh, so yeah, like... I, I could have done that, but then I don't think that if I if I acted like excited in the videos or anything, then it would be genuine, and I didn't really want to do that. Like obviously I'm not as excited in real life as I am as I am in my videos, but like I still enjoy doing them. So yeah, that is sort of the reason why. But uh, we're building here. Uh, this is what we got done in the last episode. So it, it sort of looks like um, a speaker system in a way. Um, if you know, like, sort of like an old boombox, uh, let's just go maybe a little bit closer. Uh, so yeah, it sort of looks like a bit of a boombox. Um, and then it's going to have some fancy patterns on the roof. So let's start doing the fancy patterns on the roof now. Um, so yeah. Um, this is the grey concrete. Let's go up here. And so we need to go one, two, three, I think is the correct amount. Is it? Yes, it is. So then you only need to go one, two on this side. And it's going to be a little bit of a weird shape, I will be honest. But, like, I think that'll look quite cool and it'll st make it stand out, hopefully, a little bit more from all the other uh, buildings in this area, like the Oreo and stuff, where a lot of them are very... Um, like sort of standard shapes. Um, so yeah, this is sort of like a standard shape but with a little bit of a twist with it. So yeah, I think it's going to look quite cool. And Lella looks so lonely down there. Lonely Lella. Um, but I, I want to keep her down there for now anyway because I don't want her to fall off and die. Um, and obviously this is Minecraft, so dogs tend to do that in Minecraft. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go along here. Um, and this is just sort of going to be one inwards all the way along and hopefully it should make a pretty cool shape and what we're going to be doing in the next episode is I'm going to be putting a radio show on and in that radio show uh, we're hopefully going to be interviewing a few people including my dogs of course uh, because they're going to be really good to interview and uh, Dr. Peterson and of course Laurie is going to be an interviewee as well I did think about getting a few other people in there, but it didn't really work. I think that my extent of having people with no voices in would be um, the dogs, just because that's a bit funny. Whereas, like, there are a lot of people that wanted to join me in my videos and stuff, but it doesn't work with the way that I want it to be. Um, like, uh, Rosie wants to join me for one of my videos at some point, but it doesn't really work because she doesn't like her voice being shared, which is fair enough, I suppose. So, yeah, like... Uh, I was going to, uh, like, see whether they want to be interviewed, but they don't like their voice being shared online. Uh, which is, once again, fair enough. Uh, so they can't really be interviewed with it. 
Uh, but I'll find a way to get them in my videos at some point because they wanted to before. And I need to destroy the rest of that rules box over there. I don't know why I haven't destroyed all of that yet. I thought that I did, but obviously not. Um, so let's carry on building around here. I think this is just the last bit that needs to be done now because we've already done the front. And then we need to build up one more. Like so. So... Okay, so it needs to go like this. So, one, two. Uh, just building on top of the layer that we just built. So, one, two. Uh, so, it's like one out from the layer below it. So, this is the layer below it. This is one out from it. Uh, I know what I mean. I don't know whether that makes any sense to you. But, yeah, I might as well just explain it as detailed as I can. So let's go and do the same as we did uh, before and expand it outwards and then this is going to be pretty much it for the height of the roof. Um, and yeah then we'll be on to doing the inside and yeah that should be pretty fun. So one thing that like a lot of people are surprised about is that I've actually been on the radio before but it wasn't like... A proper radio thing it was um it wasn't like a school thing well it was because of school but like uh, where i live there's sort of like a local radio show that goes on and at one point they were interviewing children from the local primary schools so i've actually been on the radio admittedly i was like 10 at the time but it was still like really fun and i still remember doing it and yeah it was just really interesting to see how the inside of the radio stuff works because like I've always had like some form of radio because I like listening to it I don't know why uh, but yeah I've always had some sort of radio uh, like I've got a huge one right next to me currently which I don't know where it came from but the speakers for it are like half my height and it's really weird and big and grey so I like this actually but yeah, it's really ridiculous and awesome. Um, so let's just top up our hunger. And yeah, this is sort of what it's going to look like on the outside. There's going to be something big and special on the top though. So I'll sort that out in between videos because that's going to be quite complicated. But for now, we don't need to do that. We need to... Uh, go like this. So when I went there was like a really boring waiting room area and that's sort of what we're going to sort of try to emulate in a way um and then the actual room where it's recorded was really fancy so that's sort of what we're going to try and do so we just need to surround this um all with this and we've got to keep it one way one away from the outside walls because obviously these things are here and we'll light that up in there to stop any zombies spawning in um, so, where's the midway point? Okay, the midway point is there. So, let's just go out like so. And, like, the waiting room was, like, really big, but it was really empty. Because, like, I went with, I think, three of the students from my school. And so, because of that, it was literally just us in there with a the teacher. And yeah, it was a bit odd, I will admit. But yeah, this is sort of going to be, and it's getting a bit dark, I think. I think that's not just um, the fact that um, I'm inside, but it is getting a little bit dark. So I will just uh, put some torches down here. Uh, I should have probably brought a bed with me. Do I have a bed on me? No, I don't. I, I should really build a bed shop. What I could do is I could build one similar to the one in the community over there, because that was sort of like... Uh, a big thing when I built that because that was really the first thing that I built in uh, this style where I've planned it all out beforehand and there you can see the moon rising and that is a nice view even though it is slightly obstructed by the mountain sort of like the sort of damaged structure that sort of looks makes it look quite nice and like the silhouette of the tree and stuff it just looks quite nice watching the sunset there uh, but yeah I'll have to light up the outside of this as well because obviously it's mainly grey <laughs> so it does look a little bit boring um, but I think that looks quite cool for what it's supposed to be. So we need to we need <laughs> we need to go in two, leave a space of two, and break one here. So it'll be three on this side. 
and then we need to go back outside and there's an enderman and all the meanie beanies have started to spawn so what I might do is I might um, run back home and go to sleep then unless there's any beds around here from when I was building any of these other structures no I don't think there is I'll just run back home then uh, just so then yeah we don't end up dying and the jumping off a hill was probably not the best thing to do if we didn't want to end up dying there's a spider in the way should be able to take this guy out pretty easily oh wait I'm not using the uh, master sword am I that's in the museum that's why I didn't go flying oh my goodness phantoms oh my goodness yeah so the reason why this wasn't happening before is because it turns out that I actually had the daylight cycle off on this world and I didn't realize that <laughs> Until I was starting uh, this video, and then I was like, oh, wait, hang on. Um, why? Um, no, I was editing the last video just before I started this one. So then, yeah. It's sort of a little bit weird, but hey. There we go. I know what I'm on about. I, I mucked up on my words, and I'm still continuing to muck up on my words. And, yeah, this house is slightly confusing, I will admit. But, like, I know my way around it. And there we go. Um... So yeah, it is a big house, but I quite like the way around. Um, I, I like it being a big house and having it sort of stick out the side of the mountain and stuff. I think it looks really nice because like you see a lot of the... Ooh, there we go. Ah, there we go. You see like mansions and stuff that people built in Minecraft and they just big square things uh, with like a fancy roof and like normally they're made out of wood and bricks and stuff. But that's technically a mansion in a way because obviously it's huge and it's a house. I don't know what the definition is of a mansion compared to a house though. I'll have to look that up at some point. And there is a creeper there. Is he coming after me? No, I don't think he is. I think we were just about able to evade him. And so yeah, let's carry on running back up here. And I just realized my clock on my desk has stopped working. So I'm gonna have to buy another battery for that at some point. Because that was the clock I was using to time this video, but luckily I also checked on my watch and it didn't quite twig in my mind that the time was wrong on my clock. <laughs> um, so yeah, I know roughly uh, what when to finish this and why did we run back in here? I'd love to get some more pumpkin pie between videos as well. Uh, so the bottom layer is going to be uh, light blue. So we're just going to go along like this once again, leaving a one block gap from uh, the thingy. And we're actually going to have like a music studio room in here. Um, so like, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a bit odd, but I know what I mean. So on this sort of half of it, so probably about here will be the cutoff point. Um... Yeah, let's have to cut a point here then. Then all of this is going to be actually dark blue. Um, just to sort of distinguish between the two rooms a little bit. Uh, I don't know why, I just think that might look quite nice to do it like that. So let me run outside and quickly go and grab the dark blue. Here we go. And it's going to have like all the rooms and stuff, uh, like all the controls and stuff there. Uh, for the music that we're going to play on the radio as well. And yeah, it's going to be pretty fancy. I also want to, at some point, uh, because obviously in real life, I love music. Uh, I've made, well, like, I worked with a couple of friends to make a song. And maybe that'll be the first song that we play in this radio station. That'd be quite nice. Um, so I'm thinking of in that house, uh, in my house, building like a music room thing. Because that'd be awesome in real life. But, like, we've got nowhere near enough space to have a proper music room in real life. Um... So yeah, I could always do that in my house next. That could be quite fun. So the actual... So this is sort of going to be... Um, like... So, no, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that for now. But here we're going to have a blue sofa. Um, because there's always like a weird sofa in there. Or at least there was when I went. <laughs> So this is pretty much the interior is based on the one time that I was on the radio as a 10 year old. And probably a lot of it is completely inaccurate to what a regular radio station is like. But hey, that's the most experience that I have with one. 
Um, so I'm trying to think of where the nearest pot of sand would be. I think there's some over there. I think, oh, there's some right here. Um, I was thinking sort of around the jungle, sort of where there's a sort of mini beach there. Uh, there's some sand over there probably. But we have just found some sand over here. And we need this to make sandstone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clog this up because we don't need the, uh, that much. Um, no, don't do that. But yeah, that, that makes it look a bit better. At some point I'll try and get some more sand from somewhere else. Just to try and make that look a bit more natural again. Uh, because otherwise it does stand out a little bit. But like... <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I did notice the other day... That, like, this town is starting to look like a proper town now. Like, obviously you've got the estate thing over there, but soon all of these buildings are going to be going all the way along there. This is all going to be filled up. But, like, before when I took a screenshot of it, and I got the screenshot, I might put it up on the screen, and roughly now, um, of the town of, like, sort of, I think it was episode 30, maybe 40? And now we're on episode 60 something. And it's really expanded dramatically. And I don't know why I was wandering around there. Uh, can I just make sandstone without a crafting table? Yes, I can. Um, but I do need a crafting table. Uh, to make them into half slabs. And how much do you need for a half slab? I think it is just three. I think we've got the perfect amount. It is. And we only need uh, two of them. But hey, six will do. So yeah, that's sort of going to be like that. And then it's going to be a little light above the door as well. It's going to get say like on air. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to say like on air. Um, so when obviously we're on air, we can pull that lever and let everyone know that we're on air. To, so to shut up, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it'll be pretty good. And then in the next episode, as I said... We're going to be doing interviews with people from my world. So that should be pretty fancy. Um, so, yeah, let's go and build up this wall along here. And I've ran out of thingy. But a lot of the main stuff that I need to do, I've done in this video now. Um, so, most of it will be done. Um, we'll, I'll just finish off between videos. Uh, because, yeah, like, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. And, like, the music booth thing. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll have to look that up. Uh, but there'll be a light there. Uh, just above the door. And there'll be a lever on this side to turn it on. And then on that side, there it'll say, like, on air or something. So I'll put that in there between videos. And, yeah, it should be pretty good. Uh, so let's carry on build. Ooh, let's carry on building over here. And just building up these walls. And yeah, it should be pretty good. One thing that I could do is do I have any spruce on me? Um, let's just have a look in here. Not in there. Uh, here. Yes, I do. So we can add sort of like a desk and a chair in there. Uh, so that will hopefully make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, there we go. Can I make some sticks? Uh, can I make a sign? No, I cannot. Let's just make the rest of it out of birch. But soon they're making, like, different colours of signs and stuff, aren't they? So that's going to be quite interesting. Uh, I'm not sure whether I like it or not, because obviously they're changing the colour of the text on the signs as well. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to like that. But I think it I think it'll be interesting at least. Um so then you leave a space and then you just simply go out um and do this like so. So then I'll sit here being the interviewer, and then the interviewee will come and sit on a chair here and I'll be able to speak to them live on the air. <coughs> so what I'll do uh sorry about that is I'll do that there and it's always the interviewer that has the really fancy chair. Um, oh, no, not like that. Don't put a sign there. I'll have to think of a name for this place as well, actually. Um, so I just need to make some more signs then. So I need six, so I need two of these. 
Uh, I'll make slightly too much, but hey, actually I could have made it out of birch, can I? Um, so now I need to, where would the nearest deposit of cows be? Um, cows, come out, come out wherever you are, maybe into the ground. Ooh, um, I have enough blocks to pile out. Oh, that hurt me. If I didn't have armor on, that could have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catastrophic is what I meant to say. Not Kitapa. Um, and there's a drone down there. Um, but I need a cow to try and find some item frames because I want to try and make the um, chair for the interviewer really fancy and the chair for the interviewee just sort of bog standard because that's what there was before. It was very weird but still I assume it's like that everywhere because obviously the interviewer is normally the bloke that does it like uh, every other time of the day as well so normally he gets fancy chair because he's doing it all the time rather than just for like a two minute interview with some school kids um so yeah uh i think what i will do is i'll call it an end to this video uh i thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it the next video should be quite fun and yeah it'll be uploaded next week there'll be a link in the description below once it is online and goodbye.